Hey y'all, this is Jeremy from Production Den. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be covering how to add new patterns in FL Studio. But before we jump into that, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you get alerted when there's a new video. And let's jump in. All right, so the first scenario that I wanna cover with you guys is if you have come into FL Studio and you have created a pattern in the channel rack and you've made something that you really like and you're ready to move on to the next pattern that you wanna create for your song or your track or whatever. So you wanna create a new blank one but you're not sure quite how to do that. Well, let me show you one way that you can do that and that's to look up here on the transport controls and you'll see that there's a pattern number one is specified up here and there's a little left arrow or an arrow to the left of that that turns orange when you hover over it. If you left click on that, it's gonna bring up a dialog box. And you'll see that there's a couple options up here at the top. There's these first three. One says find first empty, one says find next empty, and one says find next empty with no naming. Uh, most of the time I'll choose the second one which is find the next empty track. And what that does is bring up a small dialog box and say what do you wanna name this new pattern? Like what is this pattern about? And a lot of times I'll use that to organize my patterns a little bit more clearly. So if I'm working on drums, like this instance, I'll bring it up. You'll see the little window comes up right here. I'm gonna name this one drum pattern number two. And it's a good way to also keep your things organized to go ahead and color code things. So I'll just go ahead and pick a color for this one. And there is my next pattern ready to go. So I can go back in here if I'm using the grid to lay out some things and go ahead and start laying in my next pattern. So for this next way of creating a new pattern, um, I went ahead and created a different kind of drum loop. Let's say you had a, a VST instrument, like a native instruments battery, which is what this plugin is right here. And I'm using this to create a drum pattern for this second pattern. And what I wanna do is I actually like the pattern that I have here, but I wanna create a little bit of a variation on it. So I'm gonna show you how you would create a new pattern and bring that old information into the new pattern and then adjust it a little bit. So you'll see there's a whole bunch of information in the piano roll for the different notes that are playing. I'll play it for you real quick. All right, so I like that. So I'm gonna highlight this channel that battery's on right now and I'm gonna control C and so now I've copied all that information from that piano roll from this battery instrument. And I'm gonna come up here to patterns and it's the same menu that you have over on that drop down menu over here, except it's just on the main file bar up top. I'm gonna to actually use the shortcut right here that says F4, but you can either use the drop down here or you can use that shortcut. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shortcut. It's gonna bring up the pattern name again I'm gonna call this drum variation number one. And I'm gonna color code this one the same way that I did before, or not the same way, but the same as the pattern that I'm working on. So now I have a new variation. And now with that same uh, channel highlighted in green right here on the channel rack, I'm gonna press Control V. So now the same pattern is playing here. And then here as well. And then I could come in and maybe just add some percussion a little bit underneath of that. So I've just added another element to bring a little bit of variety to that pattern. And that's a way that you can create a new pattern, add a little bit of variety without causing too much headache when you're going through that process. So the next situation that I wanna talk about for creating new patterns is when you are working in the playlist. And let's say that you have created a drum pattern that you like, like we did in the last instance. And I also wanna create a little bit more variety with this one. So I have these two patterns laid out here. I can actually go under here, left click on that second pattern instance and say, make unique. And what you'll see is that has created uh, drums number two underneath of the drums. And that's the second instance of that. And so now you'll see in the playlist, there's drums and there's drums number two. So all I would have to do then is go into this one and then maybe I decide that I wanna take out this element for that second piece of that. So I could find those notes, knock it out. And so now it'll transition from having it to not having it because I created that unique pattern, that new pattern that doesn't have the same thing. 
So now it stops and takes out that shaker. So this last instance that I'm gonna talk with you about is when you've actually created a whole set of maybe instruments or things in the channel rack and you want to be able to control those things a little bit more. So in this pattern, I have created drums, a bass, strings, and another set of strings. And I used a Native Instruments battery to make the drums. I used three different instances of contact to make these different bass strings and pizzicato strings. If you want some more help with maybe getting some of these uh, third-party instruments, installed like Native Instruments Contact or Native Instruments Battery. I have some videos that you can check out right here and I'll also link those in the description below so that you can learn how to install these third-party plugins into FL Studio to use to produce your songs. All together, the pattern right now sounds like this. So you get the idea. So we have some different elements playing together. Since I'm coming into my playlist mode, I don't necessarily want all of those elements to be playing at the same time or to come in at the exact same time. So what I might want to do in that is to be able to move from having it all in one pattern to create a bunch of new patterns that have each of those instruments. And you can do this pretty easily. You come down here, you right click on it, and then there's an option at the bottom that says split by channel. And when you do that, it's gonna split the different instruments that are in that particular pattern into their own unique patterns. So when we get done with this, it won't be the full play pattern. It'll have the drums, the bass, the strings, and the pizzicato strings all in their own individual patterns. And that can be really helpful when you are working quickly and you've created a section of your song all in one pattern, but you wanna have a little bit more control over it. So when we do that, you'll see it shows up full play drums, full play bass, full play strings, full play pizzicato strings. So now when I come over here into my playlist pattern, it doesn't look like anything's changed at the moment because they're all stacked on top of each other. But if I press Control and D, you'll see that they unhighlight. And now I have the drums, the bass, the strings, and the pizzicato strings. So now I could say, you know what, I just want the drums to come in first, and then I'm gonna have the drums come in with bass and the strings, and then maybe we just switch it over to this over on this side. Now I have a little bit more control to orchestrate exactly when I want each one of those patterns to come together. And if I decide later on that I actually want to group those patterns back together, I could come in here and uh, select my pen tool, which is P, shortcut is P to get to the pencil tool. I would press control and select those four patterns again. And then I would come up here to the arrow, left arrow on the playlist, go to edit. And then I would come down here and say merge pattern clips. And so now that has created this merge pattern right here, which I could rename and color back to the full play and just leave that alone. But you see it's kept all the other instruments together. So there's still the bass, the drums, the strings, the pizzicato strings, all that's still there. We'll play bring it up in F6, you can see all the instruments are back together when I play the pattern mode, and everything's there. So that's a great way if you like to work in one pattern just to flesh out a section, you can then go and split them into their own new patterns to be able to have more control when you're actually doing your arranging. Well, hopefully now you understand how to work with patterns in FL Studio. If you want some more tips and tricks in how to work in the playlist and in the piano roll, I have some other videos here. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave those in the comment section below and I will see you in the next round.